It was 1897 in St. Petersburg. The plague still haunted Russia, killing thousands in outbreaks across the empire. We, the scientists, wanted to understand it, even if it meant risking everything, and I chose to test the plague on myself. The Black Death had once wiped out up to 50 million people in Europe. Now, in the 19th century, it returned in waves, especially in the Caucasus and along trade routes. We had no real cure, no vaccine. Someone had to find answers, even if it meant being the experiment. One winter night, I prepared a vial containing Yersinia pestis, the very bacteria that rotted lungs and blackened skin. I injected it into my own arm, believing that if I could survive, I might find a way to save others. Within two days, fever consumed me. My lymph nodes swelled into painful black buboes. I could barely breathe. I knew the numbers. In severe outbreaks, plague killed over 70% of its victims. And yet, I waited, observing every symptom, Somehow, I lived. We learned how the bacteria traveled through fleas on rats, how it spread invisibly through crowded streets. This knowledge became the first step toward real plague research and eventually control. We risked our lives, not for glory, but for the hope that no one else would die blind to the cause. Science has its heroes. Some of them never left the lab. If this moved you, follow for more stories time tried to bury.